No, I showed him. Where shall I say? Obey my head, and there you go, Nidia. No, sir, obey my head. Say, you know, by a chalice, an empire better with ye and an animal. Soon, soon, and I'm some man for soon, you know, a better with ye. Say, I bet my head. and the occupant of the golden stool, the 16th, in the Oyoku PSA, to come to Jubilee House for the first time since I took up residence here by the grace of God and the confidence of the Ghanaian people. I'm aware that two for you have visited each of my predecessors of the Fourth Republic, since you ascended the great stool of Asantimai, came here in 1999 to visit President Rawlins. In, in the year 2004, you visited President John Ajikun Kufour, and then came to visit and congratulate President Mills on his victory in 2009. And I believe that before you gave the famous lecture to the National Commission for Civic Education on Democracy, you also came here to pay your respects to President Mahama. So me being the fifth, this is your fifth time that you have graced the presidency of our country. But I am prepared to make a statement that will end up as controversy, but it is true. I don't believe you came with such a delegation ever here before. This is the first time. This is the first time that we've seen such a powerful delegation of Asantiman here at Jubilee House. And I have to thank you very, very warmly from the very bottom of my heart for this exceptional show of respect and affection that you have given to me this morning by this delegation. I want to use this occasion to thank you also very much for the role that you played in making sure that the events of 7 December 2016 were given a peaceful outcome. I know all that took place behind the scenes, the role that you played in making sure that everything went very smoothly in our country and that the stability and peace which has become associated with our nation was maintained. The Ghanaian people will continue to be grateful to you for your intervention. And this capacity to reduce tension and smooth things over, I think that yesterday at Chibi, we saw yet another incident of that. That you, what you did in Chibi yesterday, came to visit your younger brother, I'm with you for a penny on the 75th anniversary of our mutual grandfather. And the signal that you gave that the attempt on some people's part to put problems between the two traditional states did not exist, that on the contrary, 
unity and solidarity were the watchwords in the relationship between the two states is something also that I am particularly grateful and appreciative of. I believe that the lesson that was given in Chibi is a lesson that should be taken across Ghana about the need for unity amongst our people and for us to understand that yes, we may be of diverse origins and histories and customs, but essentially we are all part and parcel of the Ghanaian fabric and that is what we need to hold on to, to maintain the unity, the coherence and the stability of our nation. The events at Chibi should be a signal about your commitment to this one Ghana project and it is one for which the Ghanaian people will continue to appreciate and uh, thank you for. It is a signal of my determination also to make sure that all parts of our nation are touched by the program of transformation and development that my government is committed to. And that every part of Ghana will benefit from my mandate. I don't want to be a mandate that is exclusive to one side or the other. So where things need to be done, they will be done on their merits not as a result of any particular inclination for one set of Ghanaians or the other. The efforts of peacemaking that you have been involved in not ended. There is a great issue of Dagon, which for now 15, 16 years has been a scar on our nation. And one of the great traditional states of our country continues to have this crisis that came about from the tragic death and killing of the Yana and Dani Yakub. It has been in your hands, together with your brothers, the Nairi of Mampruga, the Yabangura, the Gonja state, to find a solution. And I'm hoping that very soon, the people of Ghana will hear from your lips that a roadmap has finally been agreed upon that would allow us to come out of this crisis and install a, a new Yana in furtherance of the peace and cohesion of Dagon. It will be one of the most important contributions that you can make to the stability and coherence of our nation. And all of us are anxious. You know that my government will give you whatever support that is required for you to be able to conclude this important task. And generally, to make sure the chieftaincy conflicts in our nation are reduced, if not eliminated, because of their capacity to sap the energies and the resources of our country so that we can then all focus with a single-minded sense of purpose on the development and rapid growth of Ghana. We can do it if we all put our minds and shoulders to the wheel, that within a generation that we can transform the circumstances of our country. I said this to you in Kumasi and I want to repeat it here. It would be for me an enduring matter of pride that in your time as a Santini, and the period, the temporary license that I have here, that in this period, Ghana will witness a rapid and remarkable transformation. And so that when the history is written, as I could fall by a father, boom, and a father by the side. So I want you once again to welcome you very warmly to the seat of the presidency to thank you for this visit and to let you know that I stand ready always to be of assistance and of help for any problems, issues that might develop in, the, in our great kingdom of Ashanti to make sure that the development of Ashanti as well as of Ghana continues on an even scale. We're very, very happy to have you here especially after what happened yesterday in Chibi. And we wish you a very pleasant brief stay in Accra before you go back to Kumasi to continue your important duties. 
Edasa papa, Edasa Nisra, Edasa.